we will summarize our discussion with virtual memory. Virtual memory may be described as the level of memory hierarchy that manages caching between the main memory and disk. Therefore, it allows main memory to act as a cache for the disk. It provides virtual memories provide address translation from virtual address used by a program to the physical address space used to access memory. It allows a single program to expand its address space beyond the limits of the main memory. So, through this address translation because it allows uh, the translation of virtual memory addresses to physical memory addresses through this scheme it allows a single program to expand its address space beyond the limits of the main memory. It allows main memory to be shared among multiple active processes in a protected manner. How do you give this protection? It, it prevents this protection is given by preventing user programs from tampering with page tables. So, that only the OS can change virtual to physical address translations. So, this is how you stop one program from accessing data of another program, although multiple programs are sharing the same physical memory. However, it also allows controlled sharing of pages between different programs. How? Control sharing is implemented with the help of OS and access bits in the page table that indicate whether a program has read or write access to a page. Okay. So, we can share a page between multiple programs through this access bits with the help of the OS. This virtual memory which we have described as the caching memory between the main memory and disk, this caching mechanism between main memory and disk is challenging because the cost of page faults is very high. If you have a miss in the main memory, you have to go to physical memory and we saw that this could be very high up to, up to, uh, up to hundreds of times uh, slower, thousands of times slower than accessing the main memory. So, the cost of page faults is very high. So, we need techniques towards reducing the miss penalty. So, we, we do not want to go into the disk. So, we have to uh, have techniques, we have to have techniques that reduce chances of going to the disk. We use large page tables to take advantage of the spatial locality, because misses of in the main memory has a high penalty we need to have techniques to reduce such miss penalty. So, what are these techniques? We use large pages to take advantage of spatial locality and reduce miss rates. So, page sizes are of the order of uh, 4 KB, 8 KB or even larger. Mapping between virtual addresses to physical addresses is made fully associative. So, that a page can potentially be mapped to any large uh, to, to any page frame. So, I, I should be able to put my page potentially into any page frame in main memory. A program can potentially put its page into any page frame in main memory that is the main memory map this mapping is fully associative. And why does uh, why does this fully associativity work here? Because, because the misses the locality is higher and the misses are much more rare. Use of efficient page replacement algorithms must be used such as the second chance page, page replacements which, uh, which, which uh, approximates LRU by, um, by using uh, FIFO along with the reference bit. Writes into the disk are very expensive. So, we use a write back mechanism instead of write through. So, this virtual memories use a write back mechanism, a page due is replaced. So, when I am writing to a, 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 when I am writing into the main memory, I do not write into the disk, only during replacement I write back a dirty page onto the disk that is we, I, we are using a write back scheme. So, use of dirty bit to avoid writing un, unchanged pages back to the disk, even within this Suppose, when we have selected, we saw that when we select a certain set of pages to be written to and we have written it back to memory, if that page is accessed, uh, if so, so when, when that page is written to the memory and it is free to be replaced, it is brought into the pool of free pages, 
even even then uh, we check whether the the dirty bit of this page is on or off if the dirty bit is off that page even though it is it is in the free frame pool i can just use it because it is now unchanged if a if a processor had to access a page table resident in memory to translate every access caches would become completely ineffective now we said that page table is resident in memory now if i had to 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 find out uh, during uh, during an access when i am getting a page if i had to go into the main memory to fetch the page table and get uh, where uh, uh, from and and get from where to get this page caches would become completely ineffective because every access would ultimately require a memory access to access the page table and and therefore, use of virtual memory in that case would be very expensive. The, the TLP act, acts as a cache for address translation from the page table. So, frequently accessed page table entries are therefore, put in a TLB. Due to the use of the TLB to access the page table on every access, I do not have to go to the main memory right? and this improves the performance heavily. If a process routinely accesses more virtual memory than it has physical memory due to insufficient physical memory, it suffers thrashing as we saw. What is thrashing? In, in thrashing, it spends more time swapping pages in and out of memory than actual execution on the CPU. The set of popular pages corresponding to a program at a given time is called its working set. The pages, the set of pages that uh, that a particular program has accessed in the recent past is there in the working set. So, it is the set of popular pages corresponding to a program at a given time and it is called the working set. So, thrashing will occur when this working set cannot be accommodated within the physical memory allocated to the program. To handle this situation, we can either have more we can allocate more physical memory and to, to, be, alloc to be made available to this process. So, I need to, to handle thrashing to reduce, uh, to reduce access uh, because I do not have all pages in the working set in main memory. How, how can I improve the situation? I will have to increase memory that is allocated to this program. The, the program must be temporary or if I, if I cannot do this, this program must be temporarily suspended in, in the interest of the rest of the system. So, I suspend this program because this program is undergoing a lot of thrashing and I will allow other processes to, to work smoothly and uh, it, will, it will be better because the pages, the page frames allocated to this process can be distributed among other processes in the process. When the situation improves and the disk usage lowers, uh, disk access is lower, then this process can again be brought and uh, executed. The other way to reduce, uh, uh, to, 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 to uh, improve this situation of thrashing, to, um, to reduce thrashing is, is to have an algorithm, to have better algorithms and data structures for the program, so that the locality of this program can be improved. When the locality of the program is improved, effectively the working set size of the program number of distinct sets, uh, distinct pages in the working set. So, the working set size therefore, reduces when this happens, when the locality is improved and hence the program will be able to work with a lower amount of physical memory. So, these are the ways in which thrashing or uh, thrashing can be reduced. With this, we come to the end of this summarization on virtual memory.